Hello, everybody. Ella J here on behalf of SE Scoops. And today I am joined by your two time and current AEW Women's World Champion, Hikaru Shida. How are you today? Hi, I'm good. I'm so good. Thank you. I'm so excited to be chatting with you today. I firstly wanted to congratulate you on reclaiming the AEW Women's Championship. Like we said, you are now a two-time women's champion. And upon your victory, you said it felt like a dream come true for you. But when you woke up the next morning, you realized it wasn't a dream. It's (laughs) reality, Sheeta. So can you tell us more about that first night you won the title again? What did that first night look like for you? Uh, okay. Actually, I couldn't sleep at all. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. And uh, the feeling, my body was so tired and my brain is like, a, yeah, my happy brain. So I couldn't sleep. And <clears throat> yeah, when I woke up, I think it was like 1 p.m. or something. <laughs> I woke up and my cat lay down my on my arms and wait I was going to dynamite I actually I did or not I just stayed in the home <laughs> it was confused but yeah I saw the the message from Japan like congratulations and oh my god it was real <laughs> It is real, Sheeta. You are now a two-time AEW Women's World Champion. You know, obviously this reign is a little bit different than your first one. You've got fans in front of you, but you said one of your goals for this second reign is to finally cut a promo in front of the crowd, which is something you didn't really have the opportunity to do before. So I'm, I'm curious, if you were kind of given a mic right now, what would that promo look like to the fans or whether it's to the AEW Women's Locker Room? Ah... Hold on. Uh, actually, I know it sounds a little bit boring, but I really want to tell fans thank you. And because if there's no fun, that night, Dynamite 200 was, wasn't was special. But because of fans, it, it makes so special. And my dream from now like a, what I want to do in my second reign is everything with fans. So yeah, I need, I need you guys. And I really thank you to be with AW with me. Yeah. Yeah, and I know you just have a special connection with the fans, and I feel like with your competitors as well, you said another one of your goals was to wrestle more of the women in the locker room. We've kind of seen you've been bouncing between AEW and Japan lately, but within the landscape of AEW, who are some of those women that you'd like to work with that you haven't yet in a one-on-one setting? Yeah, actually, I have one name. It's Athena. Yeah, I we had just one single at Simmer. It, yes. It was a long time ago, but I really loved that much. And I I saw her on long time like it of course in AEW, but before when she was in the other company. Yeah. I saw her a long time and always she's good. So, yeah, I believe in this rain. I, I wrestle with her. I really want to. I, I hope so. I mean, I know a lot of fans would cl- would be clamoring for a champion versus champion match, Shikaro Shida versus Athena. I mm-hmm. think that's definitely an exciting possibility, but I know definitely another focal point in the AEW women's division has been Britt Baker, who you've been alongside with since the company's early days. You recently mentioned, you know, you guys haven't always been on the same page, on the same side, but you do feel some sort of connection to her. So can you tell Tell us more about this connection that you feel that you have with Britt Baker. Yes. uh, This connection is not like a friendship. 
go, yeah, of course not. But uh, we are always mm, like a, it's it's not friendship, but I think as something stronger. Yeah. Kind of like Since a respect, the, I think, probably. Kind of, yeah. Since day one of AEW and through the pandemics, and we always together, and we always face to face, and always watch each other. And now I feel we are. AEW, so it's not friendship more than it's not friendship more like uh, the uh, let me trans it's okay <laughs> it's more like common destiny okay so you have that commonality together that links you up mm -hmm. you know common destiny you two i feel like are two of kind of the pillars of aew so that definitely definitely makes sense and kind of speaking of her she will be competing against the bunny on this week's episode of dynamite as they look to fill the last spot in the four-way title match that is mm -hmm. scheduled for all in at wembley stadium so far of course we have yourself tony storm and soraya have been confirmed You'll be wrestling in front of 80,000 plus people in London. And dare I say, this might be the biggest, if not one of the biggest matches of your career. So can you yeah. tell us more about your mindset heading into this defense, knowing you'll be performing in front of 80,000 plus people? Yeah, to be honest, for now, I can't imagine at all. <laughs> yeah, 80,000 is too many. <laughs> but... It's, I think my mental is so ready. Yeah, I think it's because my second reign, so I, I have more clear, I have things what I want to do is now more clear. So my mental, my mind is so ready and I, I just finished my new gear, so gear is ready too, and I'm working on my condition. So I think I can bring 120% Shida to Wembley. You know, I am so glad that you brought up your gear because I know, you know, outside of wrestling, you ventured into a lot of projects and acting, music, theater, and I know you love video games. We've mm -hmm. seen you bring a lot of characters from those worlds to life through yeah. your ring gear in AEW. So maybe you can't tell us the whole thing, but I, I, I'm curious, what is your vision for your next set of cosplay that you kind of want to bring to life and kind of what's the source behind the inspiration? Actually, in this gear, not from the other character, but okay. I just I just put the Japanese flag, red circle. This is my first time, and I finally feel I I deserve to put the flag. So this is. Maybe it's going to be the best gear for me. Why do you feel that now you deserve to put the Japanese flag on, on your gear? Uh, I think this Wembley, the show at Wembley is the biggest show for whole Japanese Joshi wrestler, I think, in the history. So finally, I can feel I put my name on the history. <laughs> yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Go ahead. Yeah, that's my that's my whole life goals. Like since I was a child, I always wanted to put my name on history somehow. So finally, I feel it's the time. 
Yeah, and you know, it's crazy. Here you are, a two-time AEW Women's Champion, but I know towards the beginning of your career, you were very heavily considering quitting the professional wrestling business altogether. I know Emmy Sakura, who was one of your coaches at the time, who's also now in AEW, made a plea for you to stick with it, and eventually you did. So can you kind of talk about Emmy's influence on not only your career, but now getting to reunite in AEW? It's crazy <laughs> yeah but uh we're together like uh, five years but yeah but after that we separated like almost 10 years so it's kind of i feel it's kind of new meeting like uh, because i'm so different i was too young before so i'm so different and yeah she's same but <laughs> but yeah for now i can i can understand what she told me before and for now it's i feel not like a teacher and student for now it's more like a not friend but more rivals yeah, yeah kind of equal on an equal playing field mm -hmm. now yeah or i'm better yeah mm. <laughs> Hopefully we get another match between you guys someday. Last question though, Sheeta, you know, you have AEW all in coming up. You'll be wrestling in front of a huge crowd, but another layer to that is all in will be a homecoming for Soraya who joined AEW in September. Can you kind of talk about your experience working with Soraya and just her overall contributions to the AEW women's division so far? Yeah. Shh. His appearance is the big, big news for all of the fans, and does great things to us. Yeah, and I, but actually, I, I'm I don't wrestle with her in the ring. So, all in was the it's gonna be first time, and I'm so excited to kick her ass. It's, I, I'm so excited for this matchup. Of course, don't forget to tune in to AEW All In coming up on Sunday, August 27th from the historic Wembley Stadium in London, England. Sheeta, thank you so much for chatting with me here today. I am so excited for the show. So excited to see your gear come to life. I know you're going to do Japan proud, okay? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was so much fun. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.